Hello, my name is Steve Bowler, and welcome to the Juniper Intermediate System to Intermediate System ISIS Lab Number Seven. In this lab, we're going to take a closer look at route leaking, and this is our route leaking scenario two lab. So let me just first go ahead and explain our current network topology, and specifically in this lab, we're going to take a look at leaking. L2 routes into the L1 area. So what we showed you in route leaking scenario one was how to leak L1 routes at the L1, L2 edge router, the border router into level two. And we're going to show you the opposite in this video. We're going to show you how to leak level two routes into level one because we know the default behavior for the L1, L2 routers is to send a default route to its L1 peers. So in this case, router 3 and 5 send router 7 a default route. Router 2 and 4 send router 6 a default route. But before we get too specific into what we're going to do in this video, let me just go ahead and explain our current network topology. We have seven routers in this lab, router one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. They are all logical systems and they're connected together via logical tunnel interfaces. If you're not familiar with those two terms, I would suggest watching logical systems labs number one and two on Juniper series one. So all the logical tunnels equal lt-120.xx and I took out every single logical tunnel um, abbreviation in the network diagram just because it, it was just too much to look at. So what we have is, and I'll just give you an example between R1 and R4, that's logical tunnel 120.14. If we go to router one, if I do a show configuration, you see that we have logical tunnel LT-120 unit 12 that's connecting to router two. And then likewise, we have on the other side of the connection, for instance, if I were to go to router four, so set CLI logical system set CLI logical system R4. If I do a show configuration, if I look at the logical tunnel interface, this is LT-120.41. So that's the connection from router four back to router one. And that's how it is throughout the whole